Okay, we're just looking at VNC Viewer. So looking at VNC Viewer and with Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 3 and accessing via the appropriate usernames and passwords. So going on 82 and uh, port 5900, so that means colon zero at the end as the corresponding number. Uh, other things to look at is the sort of scaling, scale window size, and playing around with these to make sure it fits. I'll just have no scaling for now, see what happens. And it's soon in we go. So Pi is the username and my non-secure weak password that I've got to get in. So we can have a look and we can see up here we've got the VNC box up there. Um, so we can check, in fact we can check which mode we're operating in. We're operating in service mode as we can see. So again, just left click on VNC. You can see it even if you highlight over. Here we go, do it again. There we are, VNC service mode and that's confirmed here as well. And we'll come on to the menus here, which is uh, this uh, icon we can see on the right hand side. There we go, menu. Thank you very much for taking part. Good. So we logged in and in fact if we have a look we'll see that if we go to menu and if we go to options we can see that the method so do not display not in box go away thank you we are actually coming in using a unix password that's assuming of course you've got one set otherwise you can come on a vnc password instead okay so just cancel that for a moment come out of there let's do that so it's sudo and vnc password just hit return and you can see the options and the first of those options is minus service I'm also going to be using the minus weak PWD which I wouldn't recommend of course I'm just going to do that for the purposes of demo only it's lying through its teeth so weak got to spell it right weak PWD and service so with both of those options set, it'll allow prompters for our password. So I can put in a password suitably strong, and that is now set. So I've actually set that as a VNC password. So I can go in and I can change under options. I can change that over to a VNC password. Apply that, OK to that, and the job is done. So come out of there. So if I do uh, a simple exit, from VNC and I come back in again on 82 do, 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 and we connect this time we're not asked for a username we're straight in on a VNC password so job is done other points to note is um, under raspberry config can't spell raspberry there we go so sudo again a couple of options. Um, if we look at interfacing options, of course, is to make sure the VNC is actually enabled. So that's press return, and then we go to there. Yes, so that should be done anyway. Um, and also, what we could set within here as well under boot options, if we come down there properly. There we are. And yes, desktop and CLI and make sure you don't get finger trouble and then come down here and B4 yes is the option um, and that will allow it to log in automatically to so a Pi user um, just 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 in case you got it wrong and went off and doodard something so those are the things that really need to set in here with regards to VNC and its operation R Raspberry Config is also used for other things as well so it's, uh, it's always worth going and having a look see what else we could do but that I think will do and that was just around setting the password um, so that it's up and running of course uh, going in and setting in the raspberry config the actual settings for VNC will mean that it will be there on boot so if we was to simply do a um, shutdown and we'll reboot and we'll do that now we should see that the VNC connection should come back. You just have to be patient. I'm not going to put it on pause because then it's not a trick show, it does actually work. Bum, bum, bum. You just have to be patient and it will come back on. So looking across to see if there's any flashing lights 
there are it's back good so that's the job is a good one and we're happy as Larry good oh right thank you